a thing of beauty, is a joy forever. Its loveliness increases, it will never pass into nothingness. But will keep a bower quiet for us, and a sleep, full of sweet dreams, and health, and quiet breathing. In this stanza, the poet, John Keats, says, that a thing of beauty, always gives joy. Its loveliness increases, as time goes by. It will never pass into nothingness. Means, it will never turn into nothing. It keeps a quiet bower for us. What is a bower? A bower, is a shady place under a tree. The poet says, a thing of beauty provides bower for us, which is quiet. Peace, and pleasure. It gives us sleep, full of sweet dreams. It provides health, and quiet breathing. Therefore, on every morrow, are we wreathing a flowery band to bind us to the earth. Spite of despondence, of the inhuman dearth of noble natures, of the gloomy days, of all the unhealthy and over-darkened ways made for our searching. Yes, in spite of all, some shape of beauty moves away the pall from our dark spirits. The poet says, on every tomorrow, we are reading, means, weaving, a flower band, to bind us all to the earth. There is despondence of the inhuman dearth of noble natures. Despondence means disappointment. Dearth means lack. Means, in spite of the disappointment of the inhuman lack of noble qualities, in spite of the gloomy, sad days, in spite of all the unhealthy and evil ways, in spite of all these things, some beauty takes away the pall, that is, covering, from our dark spirits. Some beauty moves away the pall of sad souls. This stanza mainly shows, that beauty binds the earth, in spite of all the evils we humans have. Such the sun, the moon, trees old, and young, sprouting a shady boon, for simple sheep, and such daffodils, with the green world they live in, and clear ills. That, for themselves, a cooling covert to make against the hot season. The mid-forest break, rich with a sprinkling of fair musk rose blooms. And such, too, is the grandeur of the dooms, we have imagined for the mighty dead. All lovely tales, that we have heard or read. An endless fountain of immortal drink, pouring unto us, from the heaven's brink. The poet says, the sun, the moon, old and young trees, that grow a shady boon, boon means, blessing. The trees, provides shade, which is like a blessing, for a simple sheep. Why for sheep? Why not for humans? Here, simple sheep refers to, the common human beings. Trees provide shady boon, to all the humans. And the daffodils, daffodil is a flower. Daffodils, live in the green world, of plants and trees. Clear rills, that is, transparent small streams, make a shelter for the daffodils, to help them survive against the hot season. And the mid-forest breaks, that is, bushes, are rich with a sprinkling of beautiful roses. Also, the grandeur of the dooms, we've imagined. Grandeur means, glory. Doom means, day of death. Means, the glory, of the day of death, is also a thing of beauty. Who's that? The mighty dead. Our powerful forefathers, whose lovely tales we have heard, or read of. The death day of the mighty dead, is a thing of beauty. An endless fountain, of immortal drink, pours into us, from the heaven's brink, that is corner. What does immortal drink signify here? The beauty of nature. The fountain of nature's beauty pours into our souls, from the heaven. In this stanza, John Keats has glorified the things of beauty. The sun, the moon, the trees shade, daffodils, rails saving them from hot season, the forest bushes with roses, grandeur of dooms of the mighty dead, 